Today I want to talk about two other situations that we've had with the JTB. One of them being in a motor coach uh, out in the California area and the other being in an Airstream that goes from state to state, does testing at uh, RV parks, um, internet qualities and things such as that. But the uh, first one I want to talk about is the, the motor coach out in California. Uh, they come through here from uh, Nashville one time and uh, give me a call and they said, Terry, can, can we get a JTB installed in our, in our uh, motor coach? And I said, sure, we can get, it, get one installed. And uh, they come through and they had, it was a 50 amp motor coach and they've had some issues through the through the years and they thought they would uh, that the JTB would fix them right up and they come through here and we installed the JTB and after got after we got to looking and everything we did target the, the uh, uh, second air conditioner or the bedroom air and um, I think it pulled 13 amps uh, when we got to checking and uh, he also asked, he said, well, can we not only install the JTB on that air conditioner circuit, can we kick out a electrical plug uh, that we can use to finish fulfilling the rest of that 20 ounce? And we said, most certainly, we can, we can add an electrical plug. After we got to looking, the JTB and uh, uh, installed down low in, in the motor coach, and then we had to go across the engine up through the floor into the bathroom area and that's where the uh, electrical panel was was in that bathroom area <clears throat> and it was just perfect for us to extend a circuit out there for them uh, or added plug out there in the bathroom and uh, what she was wanting to do was also run her hair dryer and uh, with the uh, second air conditioner running so we we fixed that all up for them and and got it going and they went on about their way and and he's since has has put several pictures on our Facebook and uh, for us and uh, they've also run into some unique situations. The JTB not only runs their second air conditioner, they was in the uh, Lake Tahoe area and one night all the electricity in the RV park they was in everything went out on the 50 amp and 30 amp leg so neither one of them worked but the 20 amp leg was the GFI circuit it was still working so what they did that night they just left the JTB or plugged the JTB in in there and uh, run that air conditioner and they went on ahead and slept cool all night long and uh, the JTB kind of saved them on that deal but uh, before they ended up coming home uh, I think this picture is also on the Facebook of of the uh, motor coaches covered snow so uh, before they come home that they had that snow deal and and uh, their bedroom was a little cool or yeah it was a little cool so they wanted to warm it up a little bit so what she done they had the uh, JTB plugged in but they didn't have the air conditioner on so to assist again what they had in there for a heater they uh, used a little a small electric heater they set it there in the uh, bedroom and, and bathroom area and kind of toasted stuff up and got it a little warm so when they got up it was uh, that back half of the trailer was our motor coach was warm for them so um, that was just another unique situation there where uh, where the JTB helped them out where uh, if they hadn't had that then they would have had to been working through their main panel and and uh, possibly overloading it just a little bit so anyway this is just a, another situation of how the JTB has helped uh, an RV or out on the road and these are like I say these are unique situations where they're emailing us back and telling us how the JTB helped them. Another situation that I talked to about before was a guy coming through here with an Airstream 
and he said, Terry, I'm, I'm using all the power that, that the Airstream is putting out. It was a 30 amp. He said, we're using all the power that it's putting out, and uh, I'm trying to run a lot of this test equipment, and along with the test equipment is some computers and TV monitors and um, some other stuff. Not sure exactly what the test equipment was, but he says that it, with the air conditioner running, my my Airstream just won't pull the rest of the power. He says, will the JTB help me? I said, absolutely. So we installed a JTB into that Airstream, and the Airstream installations are, are pretty tough because of the way they've got them built, but we was able to find us a route and get the wires we needed pulled in the places we needed to get them pulled, and um, we got that JTB installed for him, and then we uh, targeted on that situation again we targeted that air conditioner because it, it pulled the most amps and then it, when we pull the air conditioner out of the existing electrical panel then that freed the panel up for him to have the circuit that he needed or the power that he needed to run that test equipment and those computers and all of that stuff without interruption so that's just another example of, of where we've got the JTB out and what it's doing um, for, for RVs and and uh, this particular case it was an Airstream um, but uh, again all I'm trying to do is enlighten you guys on what the JTB can do and how it can help and uh, how we've uh, installed it and made things happen for some of these RVers Thank you.